Iowa Rutgers. They kick off the Big Ten season Saturday morning at Kinnick Stadium, 11 a.m. Hawkeyes around a 20-point favorite in the matchup. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso takes a look at the second all-time meeting between the two programs and the first one in Iowa City. Saturday's game will likely come down to each team's rushing attack. Rutgers was one of the worst in the Big Ten at stopping the run last season, while Iowa was one of the best. Kayvon Merriweather says Rutgers' ground game sets up their entire offense. They like to run outside and run inside, then they'll try to hit you with a long ball. So we kind of look at the film from a few years ago, and then we're looking at their game against UMass and just seeing the things that they like to do. Rutgers has been downright awful since joining the Big Ten in 2014. The Scarlet Knights are just 7-33 and in conference play. They're currently on a 12-game conference losing streak as well, but Kirk Ferentz says he's seen improvement. They clearly made progress last year. I think that carried over into this season. Four of their five opponents at the end of the season, all five of the last one opponents were really good football teams. And uh, four of those games, really, uh, they played very, very well. A win on Saturday would be the Hawks' first in a conference opener since 2016. That victory came against Rutgers in New Jersey in the only previous meeting between the two programs. Your technique really has to be good because you don't know exactly what they're going to come and do. There's not much film, so you just have to be technically sound. And um, so with not much tape on them yet, it's going to be a challenge to see what they come in and do. They have new, some new personnel that, that we're not used to, so uh, you know we have to do our due diligence and make sure that we know, uh, you know the possibilities of what, what could happen, what they could throw at us. 